Hi everyone, welcome to another video by me, the Techie Prepper. Um, I got into the prepping uh, lifestyle, I guess you could call it, a while ago, and uh, uh, my gateway was solar panels. So I had a few solar panels and I was trying to decide what to do with them. And uh, you know, I, I couldn't figure out a good way to do it without, you know, the, the perception is they're ugly, you have to stick them on your roof, everybody can see them, or you have to mount them on a pole in your backyard. So I wanted to find a way to integrate them into my backyard, my, uh, you know, the environment out there without being gaudy or sticking out, but still provide me with some daily use and some emergency power if I needed it. So what I did is I built two solar pergolas, one on each end of my yard, and I use the solar panels as roofs. So they provide me shade and shelter from the rain when I'm cooking out, which I'll show you details on that when we go out and take a look at it in a minute. So um, yeah, so if you're going to build uh, a solar system for emergency use, I'm a big believer in uh, return on investment. So if I'm gonna spend money on a regular generator, it's you know a fossil fuel generation, basically you're just gonna sit there, right? Until you need it and use it unless you exercise it every month and been run it for a little while. But most people don't use them, they just sit in their garage. So I wanted to get some daily use out of it. And what I use them for on a daily basis is security cameras. I have Wi-Fi cameras out in the backyard and one shooting down the side yard so I can see uh, anybody creeping between the houses. And um, I use it for my landscape lighting every night in the backyard. And um, I also have it available in emergency scenarios if I need it. I can pull 1200 watts from each one of them. I can just run an extension cord from the inverters straight into my house and I can power you know, small appliances. I can run a 5000 BTU AC all day long in a window um, if it comes down to that. Um, and uh, one other thing that's very important to me is redundancy. So I wanted to build two discrete systems. So if one fails, I'll still have something to work with and you'll find in my design they're all very similar if not identical components and that's done purposely um, as an engineer I was taught to be uh, redundant 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 so um, uh, if one component fails say an, an inverter fails in one of my systems and I need that system for something I can always take one from my other systems and swap it out. I can hot swap it, put it right in and not skip a beat. So that's important to me as well. So that's basically what I went for here. So let's get tacky. So we'll start the tour right here. This is my side yard. And as you can see, I have a cutout and I have a Wi-Fi wise camera that looks down the side of my house. So it offers me some eyes on the side of my house in case somebody happens to be sneaking around or coming up. And this first structure is uh, one of my solar pergolas. On top of it, as the roof, I have a 350 watt mono solar panel. I can come here and I can sit down and relax at night or when people are swimming, it's a nice place to take a break. The components are all inside of this box that I built. I've taken, it's got hanger bolts on it. It's just a, a door that I can take off. There's the wing nuts. I loosened it up before I came out here just so I could show you and not waste your time. So there's my MT50. That shows the battery status from the charge controller. And then down here I have a 120 amp hour, 12 volt lithium titanate battery uh, that offers me 1,440 watts of power um, and I have a 40 amp MPPT charge controller and there's my 12 volt fuse block. Everything that I show you on this video as far as electrical components are powered from either this pergola or the one that I'm going to show you here in a few minutes. Um, this particular one I built to be 12 volt only but I do have the capability to come, I have an inverter and I can clamp it on to the battery I can put it in line in a matter of five minutes, if not less, and then I can plug into that and I can run an extension cord into my house if I need to. So it's basically a, um, you know, a redundant generator system that offers me up to 1200 watts of power to run appliances in my house. 
But its main purpose and what I'm using it for is 12 volt appliances in the backyard, mostly landscape lighting. Now this I put in just the other day and I need to put one more in. This is a 12 volt outlet. You can see I have uh, the capability to come up here. It's weatherproof. And um, when I'm sitting here, relaxing by the pool, I can put a frosty beverage up on there. I can hook up my phone to charge. I can hook up a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, and that way I'm charging up and not running the battery down on my speaker or my phone. I can let it play and play all day. So you can see the camera that I mentioned, I showed you when it first came in is over there. And the wire runs down along the fence line. And then I have a motion detector light. It comes on when somebody's in that portion of the yard that is also powered by this pergola. And I'll show you the back. I have wires along here. Uh, I do need some more gravel. I just put that down the other day and you can see there's a photo cell on it and that turns the lights on, the landscape lights and the lights on the pergola on um, at night and off at dawn. And I have lights all over the backyard. They're LEDs, so they're very low draw. And you can see I have four stair lights on here that light this up at night. So you can see it's really, you know, it's pretty nice. It looks pretty scenic at night. And the wires for my landscape lighting run along the fence line. You can see I have some by my palm. Those are five watt LEDs. I have them on all my plants out back. I'll show you a view from here. You can see it's centered right on the pool. And then we come down to the other end. So this is my first solar project ever at my home. Um, this was born out of a necessity to protect myself from the rain when I'm cooking out. I like to grill out and uh, as you can see I have a that's a natural gas grill and I built this around it so uh, if I ever have to replace it I'm gonna have to look at the dimensions so I might have boxed myself in a little bit there but uh, anyways regardless this one has um, like I said I wanted to protect myself from the rain when I come out and I grill and uh, so I figured why not use solar panels as a roof so what I have here, let me go around and I'll show you. You can see I have two panels. They're 265 watts a piece. So I have a little over 500 watts total. Let me go back around to the front and I'll give you some of the features on it. So, um, as you can see, there's the panels. Now to uh, mitigate the heat damaging the panels up above, I get a nice cross breeze through here, but what I wanted to do was build in something to pull the smoke and the heat out. So hopefully you can hear it. I have two 12 volt radiator fans built in with that switch. And they blow out the vents in the back. And on this particular pergola, I don't know if you can see, yeah, there we go. I have uh, two other cameras. I have one here that looks down along the pool line. And then I have one inside that looks down onto my grill and over into the side yard a little bit. I could kind of keep an eye on things out here. Uh, if I'm inside waiting while something's cooking, make sure it doesn't flare up or, or burn or something if I wanted to. Um, so I have two cameras on here to kind of keep tabs on things. And I have motion detector lights. I have one this way going down towards the front of my house on the side. And I have one in the back here that looks over into the back corner of the yard. 
and this is pretty much where my dog comes and does his business so <coughs> he's the only one who really gets any use out of the light and i do have a cover on this this is the where i have the electronics i have them in the back side here so they're a little protected let me turn off the fans real quick so we don't hear the buzzing of the fans so like i said this was my first build uh that is a thousand watt pure sign inverter uh 40 amp mppt charge controller and some calb cells this is a 100 amp hour setup um this runs the majority of the landscape lights and i also have my deck lights on here and i'll put a picture up to show you what it looks like at night um it's all lit up out here um via the the solar systems i have roll downs i don't know if you can see it hopefully um there's a little handle and i can roll those down you can see it there that actually rolls down and i can hook it on here so i can completely box it in with the shades on either side that helps when the wind's blowing the rain and stuff um you can see i have deck lights in here as well so it's not too bright it's just just right um for night and there's the mt50 showing the status of the battery here so i can check that when i come out and these might be asking what these are so actually before a hurricane what i do is i take the grill and i actually roll that inside i disconnect it it's natural gas so it's got a hose on it i disconnect that roll that into my garage and then i have panels that i lay across here flat and i have a 9000 watt fossil fuel generator that i run here and i exhaust out the side um, so i can run it during the storm or after the storm and the panels cover the entire area so no rain blows on it protects it so that's just a quick tour of the pergolas in my backyard solar panels do not have to be ugly or industrial looking in the backyard you can integrate them into your environment and make them useful and uh, unobtrusive really um, so thanks for checking out my pergolas hopefully you've learned something or uh, at the very least learned that you can incorporate solar panels and emergency power systems into your environment without them being obtrusive or what some people would consider ugly. Um, and you can get daily use out of them to get a return on your investment. I think that's uh, very important that if you're gonna shell out the money for these type of systems that you actually get some practical use out of them. So that being said, please like, subscribe, hit the notification button and share this with any of your friends and family who you think might be interested. And I appreciate all your support and I'll see you next time. Thanks.